Hello and welcome to the Kinetic Networks YouTube channel. My name is T or Chris. Today we're going over how you can improve the FPS on your 1.16.5 mod pack. Uh, before we dive in, uh, just going to point out that we'd have a 1.7 on 1.12 performance help video. It's linked in the description down below. It's a couple of years old, um, but the ideas behind it will still improve your FPS if you're looking for the fixes on that update. Not sure why you clicked on this video if you have, but just pointing out in case you, you want it there. Uh, so, we'll cover how to improve your FPS if you're using Curse and if you're using Technic, because these are the two of the most popular launchers, and it's also the two launchers that we support of our own mod packs. Um, so we'll be covering that. It doesn't matter whether you've got a established mod pack, like Better Minecraft, or All the Mod 6, or one of our packs, like, of course, the amazing KN Horizons, which has a public server if you want to check it out. as a shameless stuff plug there. Um, I will note that if you're using one of our packs, you only really need to follow the first two steps, because all the mods I'm going to tell you about are already included in our packs. Um, so you don't really need to follow them. You've, you've, you've got everything already. Um, so, we just dive on in uh, we're actually going to use better fps um, better minecraft even as an example here so this first step might just fix your fps outright and it could even just triple it um but only if you're an amd card user um so we'll just cover this quick if you've got a nvidia card then this won't be a lot of help um but what we found is that there's a mod out there called Performant. Now, Performant comes in our packs, and it comes in packs like Better Minecraft. I haven't done my full research on what packs it comes in, but if you're an AMD user, this can absolutely smash your FPS into the floor, um, and removing it and adding another mod I'm going to show you can actually just triple your FPS out the gate and solve all your problems. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. If you've got an NVIDIA GPU, then I recommend keeping Performant in the pack and also adding Optifine, which I'll show you how to do just after this step. Now, if you're not sure what GP you've got, there's a really simple way of finding out what you've got. Um, I'll just quickly go over it. Um, if you just do Windows and R, bring up this box here, you can see I've already typed it in once. Um, if you just pause the video and make sure you type that in, and then I'm going to press OK, and then wait for the window box to come up. Here we go, I'm just going to press Display 1. Just gonna wait for it just to collect the information. There we go. And you can see I've got an NVIDIA GeForce GTX um, 1660 Ti. And that means I've got an NVIDIA card. So it's better for me to keep performant. If you've got an AMD card, then there we go. If this doesn't show you what your GPU is, then you'll need to do your own research to find out what it is. This video is about Minecraft FPS. I just wanted to cover that quick, um, just in case um, people didn't know. Right, so what we're gonna do is, you can see all the installed mod here, but it's a pain to scroll through all of this. So we're just going to press these three dots up here, and then we're going to press open folder. And this is going to bring us to the directory, and then we're going to go to mods, and then we're going to press P on our keyboard. And you can see here, here's performance. We're just going to delete it. Now, if you're using Technic for an example, uh, all you need to do is go to mod pack options, and then open. Bring this over, and then the same thing, mods. Go to P and remove performant like so which i'm not actually going to do because i load that back up right we get that out of the way now we're going to replace it for a mod called halogen um i did here we go i've got a link to it on the screen now if you're using technic you just need to press this button down here and download the jar and put it into the mods folder like i just said but if you're using curse you can do it another way um all you need to do is go let's go back to click this and then we're going to go to uh where is it Profile options, there we go. And we go allow content management of this profile and then press done. And then we can press add more content and then we can just search for the mod. Boom, there it is. You can see I've already done this video. Um, so uh, Halogen doesn't normally come in with this pack. You need to install it, but I've already done this video and fluffed it. So <laughs> it's, it's already there. Um, so that should, that might just fix your FPS outright. Now, if your um so sorry now this might come with some bugs um i know tinker's construct is one it'll actually change all of the tools and look like iron tools um but honestly if it means your fps is no longer like four then it's a a big improvement on my mind for some weird texture changes you might have um if you're using an nvidia card um then there's no reason why you can swap out before and add in halogen as well uh, if you want um play around with it see what you what works best for you now this is a port of sodium from fabric so um there are some some bugs and issues with it but it's still actively updated and i do recommend it if you've got a an um, amd gpu now you can't 
have Optifine with it, um, that will cause a crash. Uh, whereas performant, you can include Optifine with it. Um, so that's the swings around foul. I would play around with whether performant and Optifine work better for you or for whether halogen works better for you. But certainly, like I said, for AMD cards, 100% recommend this and getting rid of performance. I'd load up your pack now and see if you've got any FPS improvements because you honestly might not need to continue on with this video if that's been the case. Now, if you've chosen to stick with performance because you've got an AMD card, I recommend adding a mod called Optifine. Now, you all know what Optifine is, obviously, it's Optifine. Um, I'll link this in the description down below, along with all mods I mentioned in this video, by the way, are linked in the description down below. So, if we go to Downloads, like so, uh, and then we go to Show All Versions, and then we can go to more. Now these are all the versions of Optifine here. And you can see the Forge version they're built for are actually listed. Now, just because your Forge version is newer doesn't mean this won't work. Um, just get the closest to your Forge version. Now to find your Forge version, it's pretty simple. Um, just go here and you can see the Forge version is written right there. Now it's a bit more complicated on Technic um, because it's down to the person who sends the stuff over to put the Forge version. It's not really a, anything like this. Um, so I would just go for the latest if you're using Technic. All you do is press the download button and then like before, just navigate to your mods folder. So we're gonna go back to open folder and then we're gonna go to mods and then we're just gonna drag and drop that jar that you just downloaded to there. Again, with Technic, you just need to go to mod pack options and then open and then we're gonna go to mods like that and just drag it into there simple other mods i recommend including uh are all of these so of course performant if you haven't got performant and you're using an nvidia card recommend downloading that another one is called ferrite core i recommend doing this this is a ram management improvement mod it's also got 117 version look so i recommend uh downloading that uh, another mod which isn't necessarily FPS related, but it is a good performance improvement mod, is Attribute Fix. Strongly recommend downloading that. And another one is Spawner Bug Fix, which helps with render issues based around spawners in 1.16. And finally, this won't improve FPS, but it'll help you track down what might be the cause. It's better F3. Now, adding this will overhaul the F3 menu. Um, and will help you track down possible causes for the FPS in your game. So um when we was working on one of our upcoming mod packs called uh, Mythic Satyrs, uh, we realized that a mod called Fey Wilds, I think that was the name of it, if I remember right, I think it was called that. Don't quote me on the name of the mod, but whatever the mod was, it, it added a bunch of particles everywhere, and this better F3 showed all the particles around you nice and clearly, and we was able to work out that that was creating like 3,000 particles around every player, and that's why the FPS in that pack was so diabolical. Um, so I strongly recommend you adding that and overall that's really it um make sure you've added enough ram for the pack as well um on technic it's quite simple you just go to launcher options and then java settings and then make sure you put over five gigabytes here um on most packs you can go up as far as you want don't go up too far if you're adding more ram i recommend don't going above eight ever um i put mine at five gigabytes because that's what i build all, all of our packs to run on um now if you can only see one gigabyte here on technic like that then you need to install a 64-bit java i'll link to a video going over that um in the description down below um a lot of video linking going on uh if it's on tech if it's on curse then it should automatically um give you the best ram really but you can go to profile options and you can deselect this use system memory and drag that up to whatever amount you want but honestly leaving that on most of the time is pretty good and overall that's really it that's all the tips i've got um if i find out any more over the course of a, of the 1.16.5 update because it's still relatively new in the terms of modding um then i'll definitely upload another video um, but for now, that's the best steps that we found to improve the FPS on your pack. Uh, oh, actually, finally, before I forget, turn VSync off. Um, for some reason, there's some weird bugs that can cause a bunch of FPS uh, issues. So just go into your settings and turn VSync off. Uh, and that should also include some improvements for you. So anyway, that's all of it. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I'm going to plan to make some other videos around how to improve server performance and that kind of thing. Um, so I'll, I'll upload those. So if you're interested in performance help videos and stuff around modern and whatever, then you can just you know hit subscribe or remember the channel name and check back 
uh, in a little while or whatever. Anyway, uh, have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, if I did help you, help you at all, then let me know. Um, and uh, yeah, catch you in the next one.